That's right. We're approaching the one minute mark, at which point Falcon 9 will enter startup. Falcon 9 is in startup. Right on time. So at this point, the autonomous flight computers have taken over the launch countdown and stages one and two will begin pressurizing for launch. Let's, li let's listen in to the launch director's final go. The launch director is go for launch. T minus 30 seconds. T minus 15 seconds. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Engines full power and lift off. Go Falcon, go IMAP, go Swipo L1, and go Corruptors. And we are flying three new missions on a million mile journey to track space weather. Good looking flight so far. Our tracking cameras getting a great shot as this mission climbs into the sky. We'll be looking now for those engines to throttle down as we go through Max Q, the time of maximum dynamic pressure on Falcon the vehicle. Falcon 9 power and telemetry are nominal. That's right. So coming up is Max Q, which is the maximum aerodynamic pressure, largest structural load the vehicle will experience. So slowing it down helps to reduce some of the load it Falcon experiences. Falcon 9 is supersonic. And that will help us recover and reuse the first stage. Following Max Q, we'll be able to throttle those en engines back up as atmospheric density drops. Max Q. Oh, I'm back, chill. T plus two minutes into flight, you can see all nine Merlin engines. You can at least see the the exhaust from five of them there. Beautiful shot looking back to the earth. Got a couple quick call outs coming up. We're gonna shut off the engine at two minutes and 29 seconds. Stage set at 232, and then our first burn begins at 240. Here we go. Stage separation confirmed. And there it goes. On the left side of your screen, you can see the first stage booster falling away now. And on the right side, our second stage flying IMAP, SWIFO L1 and Carruthers.